Why should I be voted CEO of the year? Um, I don't know. I'm just an ordinary bloke. Our family business is a small family business, but we have a lot of fun along the way, and we punch above our weight all around the world. And each year we put back into our community over $130 million. To me, coming from a regional place means you muck in, you get involved, you do the job. And you know, I've been doing it for over 13 years, and in, in that period of time, I've made plenty of mistakes and learned from plenty of people along the way, and people have made me a much better person. The last 12 months for Bundaberg Brew Drinks have, have been a roller coaster. We started the year well, and then at Christmas time we had the bushfires that, that devastated the east coast of Australia. And then COVID-19 popped its head up. What that's shown us is as a team, we're able to pull together. For 51 years, we've had continuous growth. The biggest win for the last 12 months is we just had our biggest year of revenue and profit ever. In America, we had strong double digit growth. In China, we grew over 100% year on year. And we did that in a climate of adversity. And we can proudly say that we've got out of it and we've, we're moving through it. And we're continuing today to adjust as COVID-19 changes. So for me, 2020 financial year, the best thing that we did is we worked as a team. For me, the boldest decision I've made in the last 12 months is the decision to stop the future brewery. The new home for Bundaberg Brew Drinks. We'd been on the same site since 1972 and we've outgrown that site. With everything that was happening, I needed to push the pause button to take time to reevaluate. So we stopped the future brewery. So my biggest decision for the year was to do nothing. It was hard.